My name is Mike Brown. I'm the uh, CEO and founder of Frontier Justice, and today we're gonna be talking about self-defense and home defense firearms. So home defense is probably one of our uh, primary reasons that people come in to purchase a firearm. And it's an important consideration. Uh, hopefully you'll never need to use a firearm in your home or uh, in defense of your life or your family. However, you never know what happens in this world. And uh, you could always be the victim of random violence and you could be a person where uh, someone picked the, the wrong house, which happened to be yours. So uh, we always uh, ask people to consider home defense firearms. It's always a, a good tool to have to uh, be able to protect yourself and your family. One of the frequent questions that we get at Frontier Justice about home defense firearms is what's the best kind? And the answer is, uh, for a lot of reasons, really what are you comfortable with using and which platform is going to best fit you and your personality as well as your lifestyle the best. There's a lot of different choices. Uh, a handgun, for instance, is something that's gonna be quite differently used than uh, what you're going to carry every day. So typically we're going to advocate for a full frame firearm uh, with a larger barrel length so you're more accurate. Also has more round capacity in a handgun than typically what your carry pistol will have on your body and you want something that uh, is easily accessible but also able to be locked up and kept safe from your family. We always advocate making a plan for a firearm in the home uh, as well as a firearm that may be used for self-defense in the home. Uh, first thing that you always want to remember are the fundamentals of firearm safety. So uh, they apply everywhere. Uh, always know what your target is and what's beyond it. Uh, your finger off the trigger until you're going to use it. Uh, every gun is loaded until you check it. Uh, and you need to keep that firearm safe from uh, children as well as any other family members and have it locked up but accessible if you're going to use it for self-defense. And so these are a lot of considerations that we ask people to think about. Of course, the most important piece is practice. Have a plan and practice with that firearm so that you're familiar with not only how the firearm functions, but also how it shoots and how you're comfortable with that firearm. And that's one of the key points is we don't ever want to buy a firearm and put it in a drawer and never use it. Uh, we also offer a lot of uh, options here at Frontier Justice for safety. So you can get trigger locks, there's biometric safes that you can use. There are a whole host of ways that you personally can access your firearm quickly and safely, but make sure that it is locked up and unaccessible to anyone if that firearm is not in your personal possession at all times. We offer a lot of classes that deal with uh, the firearm itself, pistol skills one, two, and three, AR basics, uh, fundamentals of shooting, and certainly one I advocate for anybody with children is first shots uh, for children and families so that the children can understand gun safety and learn about firearms. However, we also offer classes on situational awareness that you can use inside your home, also in parking lots, or if, uh, God forbid, you had something where there was an active shooter inside of a location at work or any other place of business that you were at. Uh, we also have classes that uh, help you look at using non-lethal options. And then the simulator is also a great tool uh, to use because the simulator uh, allows you to be in situations and uh, we have HD film scenarios, uh, 650 plus uh, scenarios that you can look at. And uh, it challenges you to decide when to use your firearm in self-defense inside your home and when is the best time to not use your firearm. One of the things we always advocate at Frontier Justice is when considering a firearm for self-defense, remember it's a very personal decision. It's a very personal decision to you and your family, and uh, we're always here to help you make that decision, uh, ranging in anything from a firearm all the way down to a non-lethal option. But remember, at the end of the day, it's your family that you're responsible for, and we want to be your partner in making sure that your family is always safe and that you feel comfortable in any type of self-defense situation.